Still time for you to get out and vote tonight, and 17's Perla Shaheen is standing by live at County Elections Headquarters as people are still filling out and turning in their ballots. Good evening to you, Perla. Good evening, Jim. And yes, I'm here at the Kern County Elections Office where the lines are just as long as they were yesterday. Plenty of people coming in with their mail-in ballots to drop it off at the secure drop-off zone behind me or to even, you know, vote in person. And I'm here with the county's Megan Pearson, who's going to tell us more. What can you do if you still haven't voted yet? So if you have your mail-in ballot, you can still drop it off at any polling place. You can take it to the post office. Make sure if you're taking it to a post office that the last pickup hasn't already happened. It has to be postmarked by today uh, in order to be counted. If you are bringing in your mail-in ballot and you just want to drop it somewhere secure, make sure that you put your ballot in your envelope and it has your signature on the back. It's really important. We have households that have multiple voters and sometimes you could put your ballot in somebody else's envelope. So make sure you check that and that's all secure. If you want to register, come hang out with us down here and uh, we'll get you registered and you can vote provisionally. Great. And ballots do close or uh, polling places do close at 8 p.m. tonight, right? Yes, so the polling place will close at 8. If you are in line, you will still get to vote. And so it's really important that people remember, get in line by 8 o'clock. We'll make sure we get you through the process. But at 8 o'clock, we close down the lines, and that's it. Great. Okay, well, thank you so much. I know the elections office will start counting ballots once, uh, you know, all the polls are closed. And, and so make sure you get your ballot in. I'll be here all night giving you live updates. Until now, back to you at the studio.